what's going on everybody hope everybody's having an awesome 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 monday happy pride day every day is pride day for me but hey if this is your first time coming out welcome to the club welcome to the club all right so today as i promised i want to get into some authentic branding also want to start wrapping up this is the week seven of eight so only got one more week after this and this semester is complete y'all it's complete so i want to also show you i'm gonna be I'm gonna, i got a whole bunch of stuff coming up i got a whole bunch of stuff coming up i'm so excited that i am moving into this new direction and i'm just gonna bust if, if i don't get it all out so let's get it on and popping baby so let's check out the new as you know we've been going through marketing and strategic storytelling so we are coming down to the wire here and this week in our marketing class i'm, I'm getting into it with you new um so we got a little announcement here from our instructor let's go through that she says welcome to module seven in module seven you will dive deeper into the understanding the insights and out and analytical data social media networks can provide for a marketer you will learn how analytics shape a marketing strategy and if the analytics work insights can provide significant detail on a current social media marketing strategy so be sure to pay attention to how you would view specific insights from a social media marketing standpoint at this point in the game you should be on it on it you i mean your your level of understanding of the concepts should be golden so this was last week all done and what do we have this week so this week we've got using analytics to make marketing decisions so you will dive into a, a bit deeper as we talked about and um, use your analytics to make marketing decisions we've got here a couple web pages interpret the analytical data of a company's social media marketing so most of you are probably taking this class because you want to get a position in a company where you're going to be their social media marketing either manager or part of a team or something like that or you might be even starting your own um, social media marketing company to work with other companies so at this point you should have enough information to understand what it means to look at their social media data look at their facebook insights looking at their instagram information looking at if they have google analytics which they probably will if they've got a, a, a pretty solid website if they don't you may be the one that's going to be building that so by this point though you should have a fairly strong understanding of what that looks like and what it's going to take to be that social media marketing specialist um, so this is some more overview of what we are doing check it out uh, so we've got a discussion this week social media marketing comparisons all right nobody's posted yet and then the, the final project so this week we are going to be submitting our final project in regards to we've been working on this snhu pet supply and building out what this company can and cannot do and what's the best um, pathway for it so that's that part and then um we are i believe wrapping up the social media um the strategic storytelling that's what we're doing so let me take a look over here and see where we're at on that yes 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 yep 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 let me take a little look so as you see here we're in module seven and um welcome to the module dun, dun, dun. so learning objective differentiate between different channels used for storytelling 
describe the relationships between stories and communication channels or outlets and explore how social media stories differ from other narratives you know this class has been interesting because it it can it's applicable in a number of ways and how you can build your brand build your authentic brand that's the the new phrase now authenticity using strategic storytelling here we've got some four secrets of effective brand storytelling across channels here we've got the six marketing channels you should prioritize in 2019 social media marketing 101 the ultimate beginner's guide and how to use social media marketing for storytelling most of these are probably online oh look at this one yeah so yeah, that's online that's in disrupted magazine so that's online that's people who, who've made the content that's basically what you're looking at people who've made the content so that's we're, we're wrapping up the weeks and um when you get this close to the end your new classes will open up so if you're taking classes with snhu your new classes will open up the last two weeks of the term that you're in semester to allow you to get familiar with it so let me show you here you'll come into your uh, main screen of Brightspace and this is where your classes are lined up now the ones towards the back here I've already taken these media new media technologies organizational branding and those are gonna drop off here in a, in a couple weeks and then all of that will be left is um, it'll show these two classes and then here so I'm gonna be taking next semester uh, my class that I'll be taking is management of communication projects. Ooh, Holly, Professor Holly uh, Thompson will be my instructor. I've already peeked a little bit at some of the things, um, but I didn't want to. I don't want to get too far. I don't want to get too far ahead of myself because I still got two more weeks. I've got some big major projects, but it, this gives you an opportunity to kind of peek at what you're doing. And as you can see here, it'll say start here and it allows you to just familiarize your, yourself with your syllabus course essential questions things like that the rules of the game and my other course that i'm going to be taking you can get to it just like this and that is going to be about global communications professor jason becker and again you start there welcomes me to the class what my syllabus is essential questions of what this is all about um but they i like that they do that because it gives me an opportunity to um get familiar with some stuff so moving into my new self basically is how i phrase it i'm still me but as i move into my new skill sets uh I'm going to be shifting more on my channel so this previous blog I will still um, have content about my classes and schooling and so forth yet I'm going to expand this open to incorporate some of the new direction that I'm going to a lot of you may not be aware but my current position as a transportation specialist so I have been in logistics and transportation for over 28 years that's the background 28 years of transportation and logistics I started off in the warehouse I moved myself up into the office area where I began to do custom brokerage inbound outbound I eventually became an office manager at another company then I went in left that industry because there's a lot of at the time when I left, there was a lot of shakeup. Uh, my job decided to downsize, dot, dot, dot. And I was one of those. Whoop, got a pink slip. So anyway, I moved uh, from the West Coast out to the East Coast. And when I did that, I, I had to find my, my groove. And I wind up going into trucking. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. So 
over the past few years, I have been a truck driver. I've been driving one of these bad boys right here since 2008 when the housing bubble came into play. I got my license in March of 2008 and been driving ever since. And I've re basically reached the pinnacle that could be reached in this industry as far as a truck driver goes. What I mean by that is th there is only one seat and that's the driver's seat. You can go up and pay, you can, you know, explore new things, but that I wanted to shift. So what you're going to be hearing me talk about now is I'm incorporating this shift along with what it looks like to rebrand myself and using authentic branding. The, the um, books that I talked about last week, authentic branding, uh, building a strategic brand. Those are the things that I'm going to be touching on and moving into supply chain management consulting. Most people don't realize if you're in the marketing the system of marketing is to push goods and services into the economy. That's how I see the system of marketing. It is pushing goods and services into the economy. Transportation is pulling those goods into or to the customer. So I'm going from a pulling uh, position to more of a push strategic position. My focus is to enlighten those who want to come into the transportation and logistics industry and help you figure out how the social media marketing system is feeding the transportation and logistics supply chain system. Because that's what exactly what is happening right now. You have got a shift that has happened more people are ordering online and more people are getting the stuff delivered directly to their home. And in order for this to run smoothly, both systems need to talk to each other. That's the communications. So this is the direction that I'm taking my channel in being more of a strategic thinker giving people advice about how they can build on their brand, whether it be their personal brand or whether it be their company brand. Also helping those understand how to position yourself as a brand in your companies. And if you're in the supply chain, transportation, logistics, you're going to get the opportunity to get some information from me about my 28 years and what tools and tricks and tips and all that great stuff that I have to offer from being in the industry. So you can follow me on social media. I, I, I'm asking you today to subscribe to my channel. I need more subscribers. Nobody, everybody, I got people watching my videos, but ain't nobody subscribing. I know I'm, I'm kicking out some some gems <laughs> to people. So anyway, thank you for watching. I appreciate you being here. And I am going to get ready to hit the road, Jack. All right, people. It has been a blessing to hang out with you and um, share with you this new direction. So I will see you on the next video. Peace.